Let's do another one of these molecular orbital theories um, problems, building the molecular orbital diagram. But this time, let's do it with a period two element, uh, beryllium. So here we're doing BE2, OK? So how do I set that up? Remember, we're only using the valence electrons. So BE's valence electrons are all stored in the what? The 2s orbital, right? So we say 2s like that, and we put the orbital. Go over to this side, put an orbital, 2s, be. So be plus be makes be2. So we're cool. Is everybody OK with that? So in the be2s orbital, how many electrons are there? Two. Two. One, two. And this one? Two. Two. One, two. So what do we do now? Write the bonding orbital. Right, the antibonding orbital. So this one here, what do you think it's going to be called? Sigma 2s. Okay, the sigma 2s. And this one's going to be called? Sigma star. Sigma star 2s. Okay. And this, so like we said, this is bonding, this is the antibonding. How many electrons are going to go into here? Two. Two. Like that. And this one? Two. Two, like that, right? So already, qualitatively, you should be able to tell me, does this molecule exist or not? No. 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 Okay, but let's figure it out, you know, mathematically. So how do we do that? Using the bond order equation. Bond order is one half the bonding electrons, which is two, minus the antibonding electrons, which is two. So what do we have? One half times zero which equals zero, okay? So that means that the bond order is zero, so no bonds between this thing. Does it exist? No. no. Okay, so let's write the electron configuration for this theoretical molecule. going to be, well, the entire electron configuration also has that 1s stuff in it, so let's write that, okay? So, sigma 1s2, right? Sigma star 1s2, because both of those inner orbitals are filled up. And then, what do we have? Sigma 2s2, sigma star 2s2. And would this, would this molecule, this theoretical molecule, if it did exist, would it be attracted to a magnet at all? No. No. Why not? Because there's no unpaired electron. Yes, because you need an unpaired electron to be attracted to a magnet. And since all of our orbitals, all of our orbitals are filled completely, right, no uh, magnetic attraction. Is everybody okay with this? So this is one of those things, paramagnetic, diamagnetic, that Bedford theory just doesn't tell us, right? We can only learn this using molecular orbital theory. Is everybody okay with that? Okay, okay. Questions before I kill it?